Hey YouTube, welcome to Sin City Pools. All right, guys, we're back with another video. Uh, in this video, we are opening up some 2024 Heritage hanger boxes. Uh, so I was able to find uh, these at my local Walmart. Figured I'd pick some up. Go ahead and open them and see what we get. <coughs> it says with the uh, the hangers that you to look for 1975 um, Topps Baseball Sensations Gold Foil Board. So I'm interested to see what that looks like. In 1975, Zoo Who Stick On Blue. No idea what that is. Uh, I'd be very curious to see what that looks like. Um, but you can also, uh, says up here, you can get tops in 3D. 1975 tops in 3D. I uh, haven't looked at the pull rates. Not sure how tough those are to pull. Uh, so it looks like a uh, short printed base card, one in three packs. Oh, that's a. That's that typical short print that doesn't really hold any value. Um, it says also receive Chrome base card number to nine ninety nine. So don't know exact odds on that one either, but uh, I believe those are going to be similar to uh, the refractors that were in the hobby boxes. So, uh, but let's go ahead and, uh, and open it up. We we do have three of them, so. We should be able to get a good idea of what to expect. Uh, there are 35 cards in each box. So go ahead and see what we pull. All right, if you watched my hobby box video, uh, see the design, uh, pretty standard design. So kind of looking for rookies and see if there's any type of uh, parallels. Uh, the parallels will be uh, on the back uh, if we can't, if we don't notice them. So hoping to be able to pull and oh, we got a, a curse tab. We got that in our hobby box as well. So not too shabby right there. Zone, strikeout leader, Gossman and Strider, Webb, Martinez, and that's about it. So, doesn't appear anything crazy out of the first box. Uh, just going to go through and make sure there's no uh, type of variation that we missed. Does not appear so. Um, but yeah, did not unless uh, unless it's uh, one of these rookies. So kind of look at that real quick, and no, nothing there. So nothing really to speak of in the first box. Uh, you know, with with retail uh, heritage, it's it's not something that's normally. Uh, a lot of people are going after just because you know for a few of the the retail boxes you can buy you know you can normally buy a hobby box right so you know especially if you're not very likely to get a hit it almost becomes a point of you might as well just buy <coughs> excuse me buy a, a hobby box if you can so Tyler Soderstrom rookie card first time we've seen that one uh, Sal Freelick I've already pulled that one still still chasing the uh, Ellie De La Cruz I've not gotten that um, that card just yet that's pretty cool Yogi Veerling Correa Woo. All right, there's our first Evan Carter. So nice uh, rookie right there. Freed, and we do have a white, um, a white variation of Emmanuel Valdez. So, like I said, if you saw my hobby box video, uh, 
right there above the number is where you can see the uh, the actual parallel. So uh, that's probably going to be it for that box. Uh, since we got that one, extremely unlikely we got anything else. Uh, nope. But I'm going to go ahead and double check just to make sure. And nope, nothing out of that one. So and nothing, obviously, with the uh, with the rookies. So all right, last box of the video. All right, let's see if we uh, can get our first um, Ellie. Oh, Kowser, not too bad right there. Decent rookies already. Jackson Wolf. White. Encarnacion Strand. Nick Lofton. And coming down to the end of the pack. This is a, uh, here's a then and now of Joe Morgan, Ronald Acuna. I don't think that I've seen that one just yet. But this one I definitely have not seen. Um, not sure. Uh, what parallel that is but pretty cool uh, anthony rizzo so all right that is going to do it for the hanger boxes uh, in my personal opinion uh, i definitely wouldn't buy any more of these uh you know that was 45 dollars for three um you're already halfway the hobby box so you know obviously you know if you know if you if you can't you know uh, Get a hobby box if you can't if you don't have a hobby shop or you know it's a little bit too much price range then absolutely go for it um just you know with a hobby box you're you're gonna get a, at least a few things right where out of the three we got one um you know kind of uh, the, the white border parallel so you know nothing no chromes no nothing like that so definitely try to stick to the uh, the hobby boxes if you can uh but let me know uh what you guys think in the comments below uh, and also please hit the like button and hit subscribe and thanks for coming out.